change the narrative of everyone's thinking on my name, be a part of a real and a great program that's going to impact me at my best ability. And yeah, ready to get to a new place and get to work. Yeah, I feel like I just don't want to play for the class. I actually want to be involved with a great leading program that's going to develop players. With that being said, that'll wrap up all the questions asked from you guys. Change the fuck you can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Air corner back, women got a pick on them. Air clock in it big, got a dick on it. How you watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on a roll and no tick on it. They tell you about a rule, I got a kick on me. Other play that my dog don't switch on Hey guys, what's going on? Um, right now you're hearing just an audio clip of me, but I'm gonna drop a video that I did um, for this project, but it's me holding a camera phone. So it's gonna switch uh, shortly, but if you don't know, basically Cormani McLean threw hella shade at Coach Prime and Colorado. In his words, he says he wants to play for a real program his grades are good and he doesn't want to play for clicks. And this has been the better part of Cormani since he got to Colorado and realized his five star status did not automatically guarantee him playing time. He's kept throwing out cryptic messages. This is as close to getting a real emotion out of him that we've gotten is him basically throwing shade at Prime in Colorado. I'm not necessarily here to defend Prime or Colorado, but I will say this, this man has a horrible PR team and he clearly shows he's immature because he constantly keeps throwing shade, but he'll never tell you what he's done wrong on his end. And that's the thing about people, no matter their age. What's going on with you folks? Hope everything is all right. Um, I'm going to be talking about a subject, right? A situation with Cormani McLean. And um, I only think that it's right for the young man to depart Colorado and enter the transfer portal. And I remember bringing this up sometime you know, last year, and I, I caught a lot of flat guys. Um, mind you, those videos I had to delete for certain reasons, but I gained hundreds of thousands of views on it because at that time, it was called an outlandish take, or some would even say specifically, it was a unpopular opinion and take to, to mention Cromani McLean, who was personally recruited by Deion Sanders, same Cormani McLean who spurned the Hurricanes, my home team, by the way. And I remember when he turned his back on the Hurricanes and was going to Colorado, even as an avid Hurricanes fan, I was happy for Cormani. He's going to be coached up by one of the best cornerbacks in history, if not the greatest, playing the same position. And I thought to myself, you know what? This might be a match made in heaven. Then you started seeing the problem. Young men, and I want the best for them. And I, I pray to God that that he goes to a program that challenges him as well as hold him accountable and develop him as a young man. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't the program that can accomplish that. So prayerfully that he understands that this is the second go round and get it, go get it, man, because he has a tremendous amount of talent, uh, but he has to want it. I'm always in prayer for our young man, and I want this. You started seeing a immature Cormani not taking well to criticism by, you know, Coach Prime, going out publicly, giving out his sentiments, a lot of cryptic messages, and I said, hey, man, this young man is not going to stay with the team. He only started in three games. Mind you guys, he amassed a whopping 13 tackles, about two pass breakups, but that's not the thing. I Once you hear a coach, especially one that was in the, you know, like Coach Prime spoke so highly of Cormani, but initially when I seen Coach Prime came out early in the season and, and was talking about a lack of work ethic. You mentioned last week that Cormani seeing the field was up to Cormani. Uh, I wonder if you could elaborate on what you want to see him do, one. And two, did he help his case? Study, late, prepare. Late, late against Study, Oregon. prepare, be on time for meetings, show up to the darn meetings. 
understand what we're doing as a scheme. Want to play this game, desire to play this game, desire to be the best in this game. Missing practices, and he did more than just alluded to it, you know, Dion basically said Cormani has a lot of growing up to do. He has to mature. And everybody was just, you know, coming in my comment section. You don't know anything. And shout out to the ones that saw this happening. So, yes, Cormani McLean has officially transferred from Colorado. And I'm not talking about the rest of those guys because let's just be honest. They were not any type of... Um, they weren't going to make a big impact with Colorado personally. So they transferred. And I, I think Coach Prime wanted to see some guys leave out of there so he can bring in new recruits. But this is how I feel about the entire Colorado situation. You could have a situation that could implode. Like this situation could implode beyond belief implosion, meaning it's ironic to me that Coach Prime is accredited with helping push the whole NIL scene, right? He's one of the components that push for it. Um, it's a lot of other, you know, factors that go in, in involved in all of this. But I just thought it was a match made in heaven for the two. But early on, I knew it wouldn't work out. Cormani even transferring. This is how people are going to view it. If it couldn't work out for you in Colorado, where you had everything going your way, he had everything going his way. And if it couldn't work out there, I pray that, you know, you choose a school wisely. I don't think, ne I don't think necessarily the Hurricanes are, are you know, uh, I don't think the Hurricanes basically are holding their breath for you, meaning they're just waiting out and hoping, you know, you give them a call. I don't think so because they they had enough to see if it didn't work out with Prime, how is it going to work out over here with what we're trying to build? And that's for any D1 school he's considering. But I would like to see the young man get a chance. It's only right. You don't want to, you know, go ahead and sabotage somebody's career with too much criticism. But I have to admit, these are young men and you got to have tough skin to understand you were your problem. Everyone was, you know, killing Coach Prime about how can the number one player recruit not start? And that was a red flag for me, too. And I get it. Freshmen don't always start. But when you're the number one recruit, and we're not talking about quarterback, you know, that can be a little subjective depending on who is the returning starter from the previous year. But for a cornerback, I was like, wow, there's something more going on than what everyone's alluding to. Coach Prime gave us a semblance of what was happening, work ethic, etc. But for Cormani to leave, I was not surprised. I don't know how many people are. And I don't think it's that many people surprised at this time. It didn't even garner big headlines like last year when the speculations was, you know, Cormani is in Coach Prime's doghouse. That made, like, headline news. Now it's like, all right, Corm Cormani's going in the transfer portal. It's damn near crickets, you know? But Coach Prime, I don't know what's going on with you in Colorado, but I like to be a real college football fan and discern wisely and not just go with the hype. But it doesn't look good. Mind you, Shador is only there for one more year. Travis is definitely there one more year. He's not coming back his senior year. Let's just be honest about that. So I don't know what Louis V brand new suitcase, you you know, you're bringing your own suitcase, as you said last year so famously. It's not looking good. It's just not. Hopefully the transfer portal helps Colorado out. But as far as blue blood, organic, grassroots recruiting, it's not looking good for Colorado, in my opinion. Do I want Coach Prime to succeed? Of course. But while you guys are worried about Coach Prime, you know, I'm an older dude, and it's like, I want to see these young guys get a chance. I want to see them in the right place and not just followed because of the hype. And then you realize, oh, you still got the work you have to put in. You feel me? But what say y'all in the comment section about Cormani McLean um, going into the transfer portal, officially leaving Colorado? What say y'all? Were, were y'all surprised? Are you guys alarmed by it? Or if you're like me, you saw all the signs leading to this. 
Uh, this was re um, sorry, gravitating away on Reset TV. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, tap in, man. We cover damn near everything, y'all. Damn near everything. And I appreciate my subscribers. Keep tapping in. I got a lot of stuff going on, man. Um, about to bring to this channel. You know, I'm a father. I don't ask y'all for money, nothing. Just trying to make another way, you know. And I've gravitated away from a lot of the BS, you know. But I do believe we need a reset within the community. And I hate to say it, we need a reset with a coach prime who we hopefully we all are supporting for. But for whatever reason, it, it doesn't seem like he can get it together at Colorado so far, at least with the recruits. Um, I think it's going to be, you know, more or less the same from last year with this year's team. Um, and unfortunately... I see a regression. The only thing that might help Colorado out is that a lot of top uh, tier programs in the Pac-12 have left for the Big Ten. So that might help them guys out a little. But what say y'all, man? I'm curious to see what y'all got to say in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all.